County is the latest local school district to announce it is starting the new school year online. Like other districts, Edgecum plans to shift kids to a combination of in-class and remote learning later in the school year. Some university students say because of COVID-19, they're not getting the college experience they paid for. New at 11, CBS 17's Amy Cutler live in Chapel Hill after the Board of Governors for UNC says it will not refund students' money. Amy. Yeah, that's right, Marius, and that means tuition and fees will remain the same. Students I spoke with say that's just not right. While some universities are cutting the cost of tuition when in-person classes move online, UNC system schools are not among them. I don't think it was a good decision. This rising senior declined to give his name, but had no trouble providing his opinion. It's them trying to recoup their losses from when they had to refund us all after kicking us off campus. I think it's selfish, and I don't think it's what Carolina really stands for. And he's not alone. Students I spoke with say they just don't get as much out of virtual classes. But it was a little bit hard to do group projects virtually which was the majority of my classes last semester. There's been a lot of job loss and, you know, economic instability, and so I think people at this point, you know, really have a lot of stress. The UNC Board of Governors voted Thursday to keep tuition and fees. That includes athletics and student activity fees the same this year. The resolution they passed reads in part, it is important that our universities continue to operate and provide instruction and essential services. And the tuition and fees that we collect are important to sustaining this mission. If they had put the money that they've been taking into getting us masks and trying to keep up the facilities and they put that money into making online classes better, getting better materials for that, we wouldn't be having a problem. I think they have enough funding and I think that they have enough resources to where they could, you know, try to limit the stress from the students of having to pay the full tuition. Now, with the rising number of COVID-19 cases, students I spoke with say they just wouldn't feel comfortable being in an in-person learning situation. They tell me still having online classes is the way to go. Live in Chapel Hill, Amy Cutler, CBS 17 News.